Good evening from the Sun News Network studio in the nation's capital. I'm David Aiken. Thank you for watching. Voters in two federal ridings chose new MPs yesterday. And while those MPs come from the same party of the MPs they're replacing, that would be the conservatives, there's a lot more inside the numbers. And to get it started on coverage of these battleground 2015 skirmishes, let's bring in Chief Election Correspondent Bryn Weiss. Bryn. Well, David, as you mentioned, uh, the one way to read these by-elections is that, of course, the Conservatives held the seats they were supposed to hold, and there's not much to see here. But that, of course, belies a more interesting story in these numbers, David, if you look at what happened to the Liberal vote and the NDP vote in both Whitby, Oshawa and Yellowhead last night. Let's start with Whitby, Oshawa. Pat Perkins, the Conservative candidate and former two-term mayor of the town of Whitby, won with 49% support. Liberal Selena Caesar Chavan came in second with 41%. Now that basically triples the 14% support the Liberal received back in 2011. And the other interesting story here, David, NDP candidate Trish McAuliffe, the same NDP candidate who ran against Jim Flaherty in 2011, brought in just 8% support. That's down from 22% that she received in 2011. So obviously this has Pat Perkins quite happy that she was able to win this seat that Jim Flaherty held uh, for so long. Let's listen to Pat Perkins now from last night. The people had a clear choice. And in some, some instances, you know, I didn't really feel that I was running against a candidate, but perhaps a third party leader in some cases. And uh, it, it's rather gratifying to know that, that the people of Whitby, Oshawa still wanted local issues, local representation, and uh, that the third party leader ha had a sway in some of the vote, I'm sure, but he did not prevail. And David, speaking of that third party leader, she's talking about Justin Trudeau. And Justin Trudeau was with his candidate in Whitby, Oshawa last night at the rally. Let's listen now to Justin Trudeau from Whitby, Oshawa last night. Remember when this campaign started? Nobody gave Liberals a chance, did they? Nobody thought we could do anything in Whitby, Oshawa. It was simply assumed that we would get nowhere. Well, I'll tell you what, nobody will make that assumption again. Anyway, friends, this campaign proved a lot of things. For one, it proved that the trend is holding. So, David, the Liberal takeaway from the by-elections, both in Whitby, Oshawa and in Yellowhead yesterday, is that they are the only alternative to Stephen Harper and the Conservatives. And that narrative does play out a little bit in the numbers. If you switch over to Yellowhead now, you see that, of course, Jim Aglinski, the retired Mountie, won it handedly for the Conservatives. He brought in 63% support. The Liberal candidate, Ryan Magoon, brought in 20%. And again, that's a huge increase for the Liberals over the 3% support the Liberals got in Yellowhead in 2011. The NDP, who again finished second in the Yellowhead race in 2011, they're down to just 10% support. So the Liberals are taking a victory away from these losses, David, by saying that they have proven themselves and keep proving themselves as better than the NDP at taking on Stephen Harper and the Conservatives in 2015. So for anyone who says these by-elections don't matter, obviously voter turnout was terrible in both. In Yellowhead, it was just 16% voter turnout. So maybe we can talk about the bad voter turnout numbers. But they do tell a story heading into 2015, and that is there's going to be a big battle between the Liberals and the NDP for the right to take on the governing Conservatives. David? Bryn Weiss in Vancouver, our Chief Election Correspondent. Bryn, thank you so much.